Hello Sales Scientists, it's David Primer here from Cerebral Selling and what I wanted to do today was give you a really amazing, one of the most, I would say, cerebral and highly effective persuasion techniques that you're going to hear about. And this technique is called labeling and if you want to learn more about labeling, you can read more about it in one of my favorite sales books, it's called Never Split the Difference, Negotiating as if Your Life Depended on It by Chris Voss, but I'll also put a link to a blog post that I've written about it in the description below. But the power of labeling is both socially and scientifically derived. And it's very, very simple. All you need to do is you need to say what your customer is thinking about, even if they haven't crystallized that thought in their head. Very, very powerful. There's something magical that happens when we say something that's racing through someone's head, it creates this immediate resonance. And the science behind it actually shows that the part of the brain that deals with logical decision making actually relaxes and it helps customers make better decisions. So it's very, very simple. You can use it in discovery, you can use it in objection handling, you can even use it in negotiation. And you, let's, I'll give you an example. Let's say in discovery, you're going into a discovery call, you can even say in this discovery call, as you're getting on with the customer or even you know as they're sharing details about their business, you can say something like, hey, you know what? I work with customers like you every day. And the thing I hear most about what they are focused on in their business is this. Or the thing I hear most about what their challenges are, the thing I hear most about their opportunities is this thing. And, or you can even list three things, but the idea is that you want to crystallize what is probably also racing through their head. Very, very powerful. You can use this even in an objection handling or a, a negotiation situation as well. So for example, let's say for example you have a premium product that maybe costs more than your competition. One of the things you might say to a customer as you're presenting the pricing is, now, you know, look, I work with a lot of customers and their initial reaction is, wow, this is more money than I was hoping to spend. But what they soon realize is, and then you go, go into a narrative. And the fact that you raised this issue about pricing and being a premium product, and it was racing through your customer's head, but you vocalized it, is very, very powerful. It's powerful because the science shows us that it, it, it influences the portion of the brain that helps us make better decisions, but also it creates a lot of customer empathy, right? Because they understand that you get their situation now, and also build, builds a lot of affinity towards your brand because now you're talking about the things that are of value to them in their business. You're talking about the things that you've seen and heard all the time and it creates this awesome affinity to you and your business. So the next time you're trying to figure out, regardless of what situation, selling situation, discovery, objection handling, negotiation situation you're in, try this amazing technique. It's called labeling. Again, I'll put a link in the description below and all you have to do is say what your customer is thinking. See you next time.